on my phone recording. Tell me what you just said to be a leader, Paul, so I can put that on one right, of my phone. Right, to be a leader, not a follower. And that's coming from and, this pack. And, and listen, that's who motivated me. Uh huh. You become, you become as, as much as king, queen as you want. Just exactly. do what you got to do. Have somebody follow you. You be the number one leader. Yes, ma'am. Always. <laughs> I always tell my kids that be the number one leader. Don't be a follower. you a follower. Greetings, Sky Soldiers, and thank you for your love and your views. Today, I need your help. After this episode of Elaborate, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you have some free time, check out some more videos. On my channel, all my videos will do is help you levitate. On my channel, metal sharpens metal. Today, I would also like to give a special shout out to one of my Sky Soldiers who gave a generous donation, Ms. Ermine Frazier, along with my Sky Soldiers in Miami and Little Haiti, Ms. Juma Jean Charles, Yvette Leonard, Chayna Gossier, Santana McCullough, Marsha Broderick, and Sh Shanika Wilson. Shanika, my girl. Shanika showed me mad love. Thank you, Shanika, so much for all the support. You've been a Sky Soldier since day one, so I already know when I saw that, uh, name i knew i wasn't even surprised and matter of fact all of those people who name i just called who gave a donation you will be receiving a golden sky soldier pendant on the house that is my christmas gift to you all so thank you for your donations towards my gofundme account every dollar is being used to change a young kid life when I go into the classrooms, I play games and keep their attention by rewarding them with their knowledge and engagement with snacks. I buy name brand snacks such as Linden, Twix, Snickers, and Hershey, but I also introduce healthy snacks. Made Goods is one of my favorite brands. You get six bars for $4.99, or you can go on Amazon and get 36 bars for $23.99 with free shipping. The flavors that I have is chocolate chip granola minis, apple cinnamon granola minis, chocolate banana granola minis, strawberry banana granola minis, and chocolate crispy squares. Made good products are school safe, free from peanuts and tree nuts. They're made in a dedicated facility free from the following common allergies. Wheat and gluten, soy, dairy, soy, sesame, fish, and shellfish. They are organic and have vegetables inside. Certified vegan and kosher safe. I personally try to snack. I'm sorry, y'all. That was my computer. <laughs> iTunes just started a beat. We're going to keep it moving. I personally try to snack. Chocolate chip granola mini is my favorite. When I was young, I was skinny, but I loved chocolate so much. I would sit and eat chocolate until I threw up and it rotten out my teeth. I later got braces, thank God. I want kids to stay away from as much sugar as possible. I like to serve organic orange juice and lemonade as well to promote juice over soda. Now I like to move over to the fan mail part. Today I'll be reading three fan mails randomly picked. Dear Jabari on the rise, my daughter feels I'm too strict. She's 16 and is no boys. As a young man, what age is it okay for a young man to date? And is the young lady age the same or different? My personal opinion, I want twin girls. I would say my girls cannot date until after high school. High school, you can get a friend, but that friend is going to be in the 11th or 12th grade. 11th grade, you can get a friend. That way y'all can go to prom together. But only seeing each other during school, no kissing, no none of that. A hug in front of me when... I see it and say it's okay. Yeah, it's okay like that. But, um, yeah, after high school, I don't think you're wrong. What if you let your kids date in high school, middle school, elementary? I think they even date in elementary. Now, that's your yeah, teacher's own. Next letter says, Dear Elaborate, my name I'd rather not say. My question to you, Mr. Jabari on the rise, is why do black people call white people racist? When I get treated and judged different because I'm a white, because I'm white, by blacks. Do you feel it's okay for black people to pull the race card due to slavery? No, sir, ma'am. I do not feel like it is okay for black people to pull the race card due to slavery, but I do feel it is okay to pull the race card due to America sometimes discriminating against us, against our, against us, against for our color and our race. I'm sorry. But um, next time you meet someone who discriminates against you, they probably never met someone of your kind, and it's probably a first encounter. They probably only heard bad things, which a lot of people associate negative things with 
my race, like I'm considered a thug. You know, most black guys they think of a thug, especially if you need a haircut or something, you look rough, you definitely are from the ghetto. But show them love. Love conquers all. Show them some love. They probably never got show love by somebody of your kind. So represent your people well. When I, somebody see me, I represent my people well. Next up, we have Dear Elaborate. I work with a man who wants to give me the world. He is 35 and I'm 27. Although the lady's telling me negative things about him voluntarily. My business is my business, but if but I work in the office, so things so if things don't work out, it's gonna be awkward. What do I do? I would say move in silence. Real gangsters move in silence. Do what makes you happy. Don't let the old ladies know your business. Take what they say like a grain of salt. They do say uh, warning comes before destruction. So take heed to it, but don't judge the person. Actions speak louder than words. Get to know the person if that's what you want to do. I'm more of a long-term person, so if you don't see yourself dealing with this person long-term, don't even entertain it. Just keep smiling and flirting. If you see this as uh, you want to wanna make a little quickie out of it, you know, enjoy it. Make the best of what you got. You know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And if somebody offering you lemonade, you drink it, you know. So um, now on this part of the library, I want to take you back to the other side of the bridge, the 305 where I'm from, Dade County. If you've ever been to Miami, I want you to ride through Liberty City. It's now called Model City, but just take a tour of my city. You'll see um, on 71st and 15th, a blue building, Miracles. They sell good seafood, home for the famous Kunk Fritters. You got the Poker Bean Projects right there, 62nd and 13th. 58 and 13, you got my elementary, Orchardville Elementary. You got on 17th and 62nd, you got Charles Drew. That's my middle school. And on 71st and 12th Avenue, you got Miami Northwestern High School, my high school, where I hold titles such as 2008 Prom Prince, 2008 Homecoming Prince, Senior Year, I was voted best all around, and I won the ultimate title, Mr. Miami Northwestern, 2008-2009. Give my city a shout out, man. Let's do the Are You From Miami quiz. This is how you can tell if your friend is from Miami. They should know what I'm talking about. 305 or 786 should be their area code on their phone. They should know what these all mean. They should eat it or know what it is. Conk salad, mango salad, conk fritters, ice cream trucks, shaker, snappers, lemon pepper, chunky conk. Some guys say these phrases, what the lit read, what they do, chilling, what's good, yo. Girls should know this lingo. Or the bag at, tighten up. Every girl should have a bag or a couple of bags. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and MCM are the top three that I noticed. Your hair must be long and expensive. Also, it must be flat. It can't be puffy. Design the bags, design the heels, design the dresses. Make up all this on site. If you're going out, your face better be beat. To the gods, that's the girls down there say it's beat to the gods. I don't know why it's beat to the gods. I when I heard a girl say they face was beat to the gods, I thought it was because dead people be dead and they get their makeup done. So it's like when you die, you go to heaven. So I kind of figured like, bitch, my makeup is dead. Like I figured that's what it is. I don't know somebody coming on there and telling me what beat to the gods or beat. They probably say beat by the gods. I've never paid it that much attention. But this is also, because we on a rated PG explicit episode, we are gonna t we could curse. This is how you can tell a bad bitch from a hoe in Miami. You got bad bitches who are self-made and hoes depend on baby daddies and hand out. You got bad bitches that's always raw, and you got hoes that ball income tax time. You got bad bitches that's going to get taken care of without even giving it up. And you got hoes that's going to give it up without getting nothing or just $40 or outfit or a bill paid, Metro PTS phone bill paid. This is how you can tell a real nigga from a fuck nigga. A real nigga got a car. It could be luxury, a Benz, a bucket, anything. A fuck nigga going to lie about a car and say it's car in the shop that don't exist. A real nigga going to hustle and a fuck nigga going to complain. A real nigga going to show love 
and the fuck nigga gonna hate. If you from where I'm from, everybody know the legendary, no nut, I gotta give him a drum roll. DJ Chip Man, Boulder Lover, DJ Rama, Iceberg, Trina, Trick Daddy, Uncle Lou Pitbull, Flo Rider, all these artists, Jackie O. You gotta know these artists. You have to know these artists. Like, where I come from, this is like our, not birthright, <laughs> but this is our roots. I grew up on Trina, Trick Daddy. Like, this is our roots. You don't know nothing, nigga. Like, that's why when you meet people from Miami, a lot of people say, well, people from Miami think they all that. Where we come from, the beach is our backyard. We see Lamborghinis, Bentleys, Rolls Royces at a young age, condos. We introduced to that fast life, Chevys and Donks, all that. So we are young Hollywood. Our parents give us that life. When we go to prom, we get that car. My younger sister, Zari, she went to prom in the Lamborghini, red Lamborghini. That's how I got to drive a Lamborghini, my sister prom car, a Lamborghini. Ooh, that thing got muscle. 